so hello guys welcome back to channel get to white once again today in this video we are going to understand the debug and trace features of stm32 based arm microcontrollers focusing more on the trace features not basically on debug on this video so we are going to do the things related to the uh, serial wire viewer and in that we are going to explore out the views of STM32 SWB ITM data console and data trace statistical profiling data trace timeline graph and trace log features and also we will be seeing the live expressions of our variables which we have written which will be written in our code and printing the uh, commands for printing the strings and these things on the terminal screen without the use of any UART or USB just via one serial wire output pin using the trace features of our ARM based microcontrollers. So now uh, let's begin with the video. So now first we will go to the open STM32 cube ID and create a new project for STM32. Now in the part number uh, write in the controller which you are using as I am using the STM32 F103C8 so I will be using that one. Project name I am taking it as YouTube underscore SWV underscore VTU. Okay see executable and stm32 cube and save it at your default location or whatever location you want then click on next and select the latest firmware for the stm32 cube id for the stm32 firmware firmware package of f1 and then finish now as uh, you your new project will be created in the first thing that will be present in front of you is the dot ioc window in which you will configure your microcontroller via cube mx so now in this in the system core we have to do the two things like before doing the things we first uh, do the clock configuration okay so for clock configuration go to rcc and select the hse enable cyclic and then go to clock configuration window hse enabled pll into 4 as i am going to select the 32 megahertz as my central clock frequency and then uh, yeah just this thing and in the serial uh, in the system clock click on this serial wire okay debug con configuration as debug and now i will just for your demonstration purpose also will be uh, using the pv13 as my gpio output pin okay so yeah so that's all the settings that you have to do now you just clock configuration and the debug uh, enabled in serial wire and then just save the file it will ask for you to generate want to generate the code and then yes now your code will be generated now for using the serial wire output pin and uh, so as to in a, so as to use the trace features you have to connect your controller and as i have told in this video of getting overview on how to use stlingv2 programmer for trace features and its hardware pin connections and pinout okay so now as we are done with the connections now let's begin with the practical part now for practical part with the beginning as we are going to use the printf each function so we need to direct the commands of printf to our itm port okay the itm is the instruction trace mark hole the debug architecture core site architecture sub module which is responsible for rr profiling printf commands and using the trace features okay the itm and the etm are one of the two important trace components so for using the printf command we need to direct that to our itm port and that we do so for that thing we have to write a function uh, let me just wait earlier i will just tell you which you just copy this down function okay write the i i i n t underscore write function and in this replace the io underscore put card function from the itm underscore send card okay so it uh, your printf function will be directed to this uh, write function and it will directly send the characters to my itm port which is by default zero okay so select this thing and this function is available in the uh, webinar system call dot c header for source file okay which you can see from your uh, project explorer and you will see that it has a write function so i have opened that function over here so wait okay uh, this right function and in this you just copy this down whole function and just copy it down in through the main and so now what will happen whenever we call the printf command in our while 
okay so now let's say i will write the printf and then hello world okay so it will direct those my these characters to my itm port say itm underscore send card port zero which is by default selected and it will output on the ter terminal screen and also in the head uh, you have to include one header file hashtag include studio.h okay now that's all that you have to write in the code for using the printf commands not just for demonstration purpose like i have uh, first to seeing you in the output screen also i will be toggling my gpio pin and then just semicolon and then with a delay of one second and then we will uh, compile the code debug our code from our student to cube id so first it will build and now it will ask me for a debug configuration window as i am uploading this code first time okay so in the show generator options you also select this as software system reset and then we will just enable the serial wire we are selecting the core clock frequency which we have uh, configured that is 32 megahertz and then yeah apply and then okay okay so that's all you have to do for using the printf thing now you just go to the window section show view swv and itm data console in this the data console as you open you will see here there will be a small icon for settings configure trace in this enable the pc sampling and then in the itm stimulus ports select the port 0 to make it enable and then ok this is the uh, icon for starting the trace feature so just click on it and then we will run our code into from in our debug mode ok so so as you will see as you uh, write the hello word okay, with the slash n and in the item data console the configurations i have tell and the debug and open you will see the hello world will be start printing okay so that's how you can use the printf now you can type anything here now like let's say if you want to also write down the variables okay so now let's say i just declare one or two variables over here uint uint 8 score t a equals to 0 okay and increment this variable over here plus plus so now it's like a normal variable which is which will be monitored uh, which you can monitor and see its values as you in, as it is incremented so now let me just debug and terminate and relaunch it again so now we are going to use the show view swv we are going to use the data trace in the data trace timeline graph okay so this is data trace trace timeline field. now in the configuration window for this uh, we are going to you enable the comparator zero and write the variable a which we have the uh, in this section you write, can write any variable or address address in hexadecimal binary format or variable with the name of its variable access write at whether the it will be write or read and then just click on ok ok now start this session and now we will just start our debug so now you will see that you can see in this data trace the name is a and its value has been incremented from a to so you can see the life change life uh, what is happening on the on your variable consider check it also with the time it will, it will be incremented in this if you pause it okay you can pause it from here now you can see that there between after between each value there is a time delay of one second approximately one second exactly okay so this is the thing and in the data trace timeline you can properly see the whole graph being plotted for the values which is of your variable okay so it becomes very easy for analyzing the problems for analyzing the firmware in the development process now another thing with that i want to show you is the use of the various live uh, this in the show video show view statistical profiling statistical profiling is the window which is used for seeing that which function your code is in how much percentage of time it spends on which function and what is its address and how many times does it samples so like for using this for statistical profiling window you just enable the debug feature 
like in in the debug run your code in while while running it will not show any changes over here wait for 2 to 3 minutes uh, for 20 to 30 seconds and then pause it so it will show you that while the code was running so in which function it has spent most of the time so this is very easy for you to see that at what functions your code is being run most of the time and what are all the things i hope you get to know about all those things and these are the features of the trace okay. now also one feature of the trace is the live expression window the live expression window what we can do uh, like wait let me just introduce another variable okay now let me just as 100 I'll begin its value and write an ui T eight score T X equals to zero. Okay. And now in this here if we are incrementing the A plus plus and we will be uh, no sorry we will decrement the A value and then we will increment the X plus plus value. Okay. So this is this now not terminate and relaunch. Now I will show you that how we can use the live expression window so as to see the what is the change what is the exp uh, things happening in our uh, live okay so now where is our live in the search over here again live expressions now you just in the add new expression write the variable name of the expression that you have write, written in your code so like I have written a it's initial value is 100 as it is I have signed in the code and then x as it should value zero. Now as you start the resume, so you will see that their value is being uh, changing in the live format. You can see in the live expression window. One very important thing is that when using the live expression window, just uh, remember that in the debug configuration window, you enable the this thing for serial wire viewer and also the enable live expressions. If you not enable the live expression, then it will not show you the live expressions uh, change as it is showing in this video. Also, one another thing that I would like to show you is that in the data trace, now if you, uh, wait, let me just pause the code again. In the data trace, if you configure your comparators in the data trace, it like data trace is like a window on which you can call the, trace the any four variables or any four addresses. So whatever changes the in the values that variables will be having, you can plot their graphs, you can analyze them, you can do many things. So like comparator zero, there are four comparators for this. So comparator zero I am using for a variable a and comparator one will be using for x okay, and the right says is right and then okay start your trace and then just start your code so now you can see that it is showing you the samples which is being taken for all for both of these for a it is showing you that what's how many cycles is it taking to sample the its value time and then the consequently next another uh, next time for its next increment video or decrement value and correspondingly for the a and x so you can see also in the data trace line graph as you can see now here it will be it is plotting now four two graphs simultaneously one for x and one for a yellow for a and red for x and you can minimize this like expand the scale of the graph you know zoom out zoom in all such things you can also take the screenshot of the graph so as to share with your queries or for any with your team okay and this also so i hope you get to know about these things these things are quite these trace features statistical profiling live expression these are some of the very good uh, features which are available for debugging out your things okay so that's it for this video in the next video i will we will see again the uh, the advanced features more features of the debug and trace in stm32 based arm based